everyone. Today we're going to talk about things that are around us. Well, actually it helps us in our daily life. Like simple machine. Our focus today is about lever and inclined plane. Now, how to do things easily. For example, if we want to cut this piece of paper, it will be difficult if we don't have any tools to help us. And the paper will create ridges, not as smooth as the other sides. Or we want to take out a nail from the wall, it will be hard and unsafe for us if we use only our hands. Now, we are going to talk about simple machines which have uh, purposes in our lives such as it's going to be easier for us to do our work it's going to make our work faster to be done and then of course it will be safer for us to do our work there are six types of simple machines inclined plane screw wedges lever pulley and wheels and axle but today our focus again it's about lever and inclined plane let me start with lever as we know earlier how to pull a nail from the wall well we need to use hammer claw you know the hammer with with the end the other end it has two forks now it is easier for us to do it and then again to cut paper we need scissors of course, the ridges will be gone when we cut with scissors. So what is lever? Lever is actually a simple machine where the fulcrum placement uh, will make greater effort. There are three types of lever. The first class of lever is the, for example, the scissors. The scissors is the first class of lever because the fulcrum is in between the load and the effort. Fulcrum, in Bahasa, we call it as titik tumpu. Load, in Bahasa, we call it as titik beban. Effort, in Bahasa, we call it as titik kuasa. Ketika titik tumpu berada di antara titik beban dan titik kuasa, maka disebut sebagai pengungkit jenis pertama. Selanjutnya, text. Second class of lever. Where the load is between the fulcrum and the effort. For example, this one. A hole puncher. When we put a paper inside, we can see that the load is between the effort, the place where we press the hole puncher, and the fulcrum. And then the third class, where the effort is between the fulcrum and the load, like this chopstick. Seperti sumpit ini, di mana titik kuasanya berada di antara titik tumpu dan titik beban. Next, I'm going to talk about inclined plane. Of course, we see inclined plane everywhere. Actually, when we go to the mountains, we are on an inclined plane. Inclined planes are a flat surface which make an angle towards the flat surface. For example, I'm going to show you that this is an inclined plane with an angle of 30 degrees. I have this load and then I will pull the load up the inclined plane. Now, it takes around 
zero point five newton to lift the load up through the inclined plane. How about if we make it steeper? Let's say 50 degrees with the same load. It needs 1.4 Newton to lift the load. So, from this experiment, we can see that the steeper the inclined plane, the more force we need to apply. So, the mechanical advantage of inclined plane is actually uh, divided by the distance of the inclined plane with the height of the inclined plane. If you don't have this kind of tools at your school, we can use simple things that are available, like stacks of book. You can have different stacks of books, like this, I have five stacks of books, and then this is a flat surface. I put it up here, and then maybe I just use some rubber band. Make sure the rubber band still have its elasticity. First, what you want to do is to measure the length of the rubber band, such this. And then, you can connect to the load. When you pull the rubber band, of course, to make the load go upward, the rubber band will stretch. And then you have to measure the length of the stretch rubber band to see the difference between the slope and then the steep angle you can add more books to stack and then you can see again how far the rubber stretch. This is the simple way of using uh, everyday items in your classroom. Now, inclined plane has many purposes in life. For example, in the beginning we see roads on the mountain, we see staircase, we also see screw actually is one of the application of inclined plane. We also have um, chisel or nail or um, chop wood or knife. And then, of course, ramp is a very obvious ex example of inclined plane. I think that's it for our explanation or our discussion about lever and inclined plane. I hope everything that we show you here will be a benefit for you and your school. Thank you.